What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here, playing around in the woods, and I got something kind of cool that I'd like for you to make and try at home, see how it works for you. Got me some worms this morning. So this technique's actually pretty simple. All you got to do is find you about an inch, inch and a half uh, sapling out in the woods and cut that rascal down. And I'm going to strip some of the bark off of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't have to be perfectly clean. Now we're going to go down one side of the stick here, and we're just going to cut in some notches. All right, so now that we got those grooves cut into the stick here, now we got us a little instrument, if you will. <laughs> so just take the stick that you got the grooves cut in, stick it down in the ground a little bit, and then run your other stick up and down those grooves to create a vibration and noise pattern that goes down into the ground. Now this vibration is supposed to bring those worms up to the top. They'll, they'll come up to the top. You, know, you might have to try several different spots until you finally find where they're at. Today I'm going to talk about the aggravating task of toting firewood back to camp. But I'm going to fix that problem with just two sticks and some paracord. So I roughly have about 10 foot of paracord here. I'm going to double it up and cut it into two sections. Take my two sticks here and just do a simple knot on one end. Take my other stick, tie that same piece to the other end. Just a real simple knot like so. Do the same on the other side with the other piece. And that's what I got. So you got yourself a good little pile here of firewood. Just lay this down. Put your larger pieces in first. Just like that. Grab your two ends. Pass one through the other. And there you go. Off the camp. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use char cloth that I showed you how to make in a past video to start a fire using a flint and steel. So it's actually pretty simple. You take a piece of char cloth, you wanna sit that piece of char cloth on your flint. And you're gonna take your steel and we're gonna strike down to get an ember to start on your char cloth here on the edge. See there, I got an ember going. I've got this little bird's nest here with pine straw and some leaves. See if we can get it started. So keep giving it oxygen. And there we go. Now you can add this to more materials to help get your fire going. All it takes is a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. Keep feeding it some oxygen. Be patient and she's going to fire right up.
today I'm going to talk about things that break. If you have gear and equipment, the more you use it, the more apt it is to one day break. And one day it will. You have to be able to adapt to the situation at hand. So a real quick tip is when the grommets tear away from your tarp. Oftentimes you just take a rock to put into your tarp to use as an anchor point. But what if there are no rocks where you're at? Don't be scared to adapt. I don't have any rocks around, but I got plenty of pine cones. Will it work? Heck yeah, it'll work. So let's just assume that this grommet here is ripped out and is no longer good, but I need to attach to the corner of this tarp. I don't have any rocks, but I have plenty of pine cones. Put the pine cone under the tarp in the corner, paracord, double it up, bring it across the top here, create you a loop over the pine cone, and cinch it up. Now you have an anchor point. So moral of the story is, don't freak out, adapt to the situation. There's plenty of things out here in the wild that can do the job that you need it to do. You just gotta think a little. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this nifty little rascal right here. It's a water dispenser, so you can wash your hands and stuff and save water. So that's a pretty cool little trick. Make yourself several of these different sizes, um, small, large, and you got a cool way to have some water when you're in camp or washing your hands and stuff. Just hang it up, red rock. Mm -hmm. 